Hi everyone I welcome you all for this nursing distem channel today we are going to see about cervical effacement cervical effacement is the process that helps the cervix prepare for a vaginal delivery the cervix connects the lower portion of the uterus to the vagina normally the cervix is around 3 cm long and is firm and closed In preparation for childbirth the cervix must thin and open up to allow the fetus to pass from the uterus through the vagina during the later stages of pregnancy the fetus head drops into the pelvis pushing it against the cervix this process stretches the cervix causing it to thin and shorten and to efface definition Cervical effacement refers to the shortening, softening and thinning of the cervix. How to measure cervical effacement? A healthcare professional or midwife often performs a vaginal examination to measure cervical effacement. Wearing a surgical glove, they will insert two fingers into the vagina and feel for dilation, effacement, station and the position of the cervix. measurement of cervical effacement measurement of effacement is usually in percentages percentage ranging from 0 to 100 percentage 0 percentage means cervix not effaced 100 percentage means cervix fully effaced cervical effacement according to thickness if the cervix is in the length of the neck of a standard wine bottle cervix not effaced or zero percentage effaced the cervix is around the length of the neck of a mason jar cervix 50 percentage effaced if the cervix has completely thinned a sheet of paper cervix 100 percentage effaced cervical effacement according to length of cervix if the cervical length is 2 or more than 2 cm cervix not effaced or 0 percentage effaced if the cervical length is 1 cm cervix 50 percentage effaced if the cervix fully thinned out cervix 100 percentage effaced how effacement relates to dilation to thin and shorten the cervix also needs to open up or dilate to prepare for vaginal delivery full dilation and 100 percentage effacement both need to occur for the fetus to be able to pass through the birth canal cervical effacement in primary versus multi gravida in primary gravida effacement precedes dilation of the cervix whereas in multi para both occur simultaneously symptoms of cervical effacement certain signs and symptoms may indicate that cervical effacement has begun these symptoms may include pausing of the mucus plug during pregnancy the mucus plug seals the opening of the cervix this prevents bacteria from entering the uterus cervical changes including dilation and effacement cause movement or loss of the mucus plug blood issue as effacement nears tiny blood vessels near the cervix may rupture this can cause a small amount of spotting known as blood issue this may occur with loss of the mucus plug or on its own pelvic pain cervical effacement often occurs after the head of the fetus drops lower into the pelvis this may cause pain as the head puts pressure on the woman's pelvic ligaments uterine contraction contraction involves the tightening and relaxing of the uterus to help cervical dilation and effacement contraction can vary in severity and frequency usually the more regular frequent and strong they are the closer to delivery timeline of effacement the amount of time it takes for complete cervical effacement during labor varies greatly some women may reach 100 percentage effacement within a few hours of labor for others cervical effacement may occur slowly over several weeks before labor yearly and late effacement complications when effacement does not progress normally at the end of pregnancy possible complications can arise if the effacement occurs too early 
or late it will cause various complications yearly effacement also known as an insufficient cervix yearly effacement occurs when the cervix starts to shorten and soften too early in pregnancy yearly effacement raises the risk of miscarriage premature labor and premature birth late or no effacement late or no effacement happens when the cervix remains long and thick at the end of pregnancy when this occurs labor cannot progress pregnancies that go beyond 41 to 42 weeks have an increased risk of serious complications healthcare practitioner try to induce the labor by induction methods i hope you got understand about cervical effacement thanks for watching